3i Atlas is back from behind the sun after just swinging around its closest point. And right at that moment, it started behaving in a way that has left scientists both excited and confused. It brightened dramatically, turned bluer than expected, and now NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has confirmed that it's showing signs of non-gravitational acceleration, a subtle but measurable push that cannot be explained by gravity alone. If you remember Oumuamua, the first interstellar object ever detected, showed similar behavior that started the debate over whether these visitors could be artificial. So what exactly is happening? And what does the data tell us when we set aside the fear-mongering and click-driven headlines? Let's find out. A few days ago, just before its closest approach to the sun on October 29, 2025, Scientists noted something remarkable. 3i Atlas brightened far more than any normal comet usually did, and there were hints it might even have been changing color. At the time, the sun's far side was exploding with massive solar flares and coronal mass ejections. 3i Atlas happened to pass right through that stormy environment. And while those flares didn't seem to knock it off course, they certainly gave us a lot of material to analyze. The real surprise came not from solar activity, but from the trajectory itself. After perihelion, when JPL recalculated its orbit, the data no longer fit perfectly under simple gravity. So the team, led by NASA navigation engineer Davide Farnokia, added two new parameters to the model, A1 and A2. If you've never heard of those before, they're standard terms used to describe tiny persistent accelerations that act on comets or asteroids due to non-gravitational effects, things like jets of gas venting from the surface, or in extremely rare cases, other unknown forces. And in the case of 3i Atlas, both terms were now non-zero. According to Farnokia's latest fit, the object experienced a small push, around a few hundred kilometers per day squared, away from the sun, and a second, weaker push, sideways along its orbit. That might sound huge, but in cosmic terms, it's minuscule, detectable only by precision orbit fitting. Still, that tiny shift means something is giving it a push. Now, the obvious first explanation is outgassing, something that happens when sunlight heats a comet's icy surface. It's a normal, well-understood process. Most active comets show some level of non-gravitational acceleration because of this. So why the sudden fuss over 3i Atlas? because of how much it brightened, how quickly it did so, and what color it turned while doing it. Shortly after the NASA JPL update, a new analysis by Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb highlighted the curious case of non-gravitational acceleration in 3i Atlas. Loeb asks a simple question. What does this mean physically? If the acceleration came from natural outgassing, then by momentum conservation, the object would be losing mass to provide that push, and we can estimate how much. Assuming a typical ejection speed of a few hundred meters per second, Loeb calculates that 3i Atlas would have a half-life of about six months. That's a huge amount of material, enough to produce a vast glowing plume of gas and dust that should be clearly visible to spacecraft and telescopes throughout November and December. Juice spacecraft, which happens to be in a favorable position this month, would likely be the first to detect such a plume in early November. And later on December 19th, when 3i Atlas makes its closest approach to Earth, around 269 million kilometers away, hundreds of ground-based telescopes along with Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope will have their chance to look for it. If they see it shedding mass as expected, that would strongly support the natural outgassing explanation. If they don't, then something else must be driving that motion. Here's why. A team of researchers recently analyzed images of 3i Atlas taken in September and October by the Stereo, Soho, and GOES-19 observatories. The data showed its brightness rising far faster than normal, increasing about seven times more steeply with distance from the sun than a typical comet would. Around the same time, observers noted that 3i Atlas appeared bluer than the sun in images captured by solar coronagraphs, and that is truly unexpected. Most comets tend to look yellowish or reddish, 
because sunlight scatters off dust grains in the coma rather than adding fresh color. A persistent blue shade typically hints at glowing gas emissions, not mere dust reflection. So the question now becomes, what process could cause an interstellar object to look bluer than our star? Loeb suggests two possibilities. The first is purely natural. Perhaps we're seeing emission from ionized carbon monoxide, which is known to glow blue under solar ultraviolet radiation. The second, more speculative, is technology, that the object could contain some kind of internal power source or engine, producing heat or light of its own. He's not claiming that's what it is, only that the data shouldn't be dismissed just because it makes us uncomfortable. But let's not get carried away with the alien engine headlines before analyzing what we actually know. Yes, the JPL data does show a measurable non-gravitational acceleration. It's small, but it's there, and Farnokia's analysis indicates it's not a fluke of measurement noise. However, the total deviation caused by that acceleration is tiny. Even if that push continued for a whole month, 3i Atlas would only drift slightly, just tens of thousands of kilometers off its path, not millions. That's nowhere near enough to bring it close to any planet, including ours. It's still on the same general trajectory, heading out toward Jupiter's orbit and beyond. There's no impact risk, no evasive maneuvers, no turning toward Earth. So yes, although it has been full of surprises since its discovery, 3i Atlas is behaving like a comet, just a little different from the ones we've seen before. And for those still skeptical, well, the next few weeks will tell us a lot. If it's shedding mass as predicted, we'll watch that story unfold in real time. If it's not, then we'll have a real cosmic puzzle on our hands. Meanwhile, something even more dramatic has emerged. The interstellar comet 3i Atlas has been photographed blasting a jet of gas and dust straight toward the sun. A composite image taken with the two-meter twin telescope at the Tade Observatory captured 159 exposures of 50 seconds each, revealing a fan-shaped stream erupting from the nucleus in the sunward direction. The jet appears to extend up to around 10,000 kilometers from the comet's surface. In other words, it's behaving exactly as a comet should under extreme conditions. And yet earlier this week, the NASA-backed International Asteroid Warning Network launched an emergency defense probe after 3i Atlas exhibited unusual behavior. Yes, IAWN, operating under the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, has launched a coordinated planetary defense campaign to track 3i Atlas and test the global response framework. This marks the first UN-backed observatorial campaign for an interstellar object. The agency emphasized that this campaign should be seen as a practice for potential future threats. In that spirit, two of the most advanced spacecraft ever launched, Hera and Europa Clipper, are now lined up for a remarkable journey. According to recent modeling, both craft will be in positions that possibly allow them to fly through or very near the ion tail of 3i Atlas as it speeds toward the sun. Hera has a window between October 25th and November 1st, and Europa Clipper between October 30th and November 6th. If either spacecraft manages to sample that tail, measuring charged particles, magnetic distortions, or heavy ions not normally seen in solar system comets, it will be the first time humanity has ever intercepted material from an object born around another star. The European Space Agency has also confirmed that its Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE spacecraft, is preparing to aim its instruments at interstellar comet 3i Atlas. The probe will observe the comet between November 2nd and 25th, right as it reaches its most active phase. However, JUICE is currently using its large high-gain antenna as a protective heat shield which means data can only be transmitted back to Earth through a smaller secondary antenna. As a result, we won't see the findings from these observations until early 2026. Meanwhile, Avi Loeb has suggested that the international community should stay alert and develop contingency plans in case 3i Atlas turns out to be a so-called black swan event, a rare high-impact occurrence that's nearly impossible to predict but seems obvious in retrospect. In Loeb's view, the comet could appear natural at first, 
yet potentially hide something unexpected, a kind of Trojan horse scenario that challenges our assumptions about what we're really seeing. The most uh, puzzling uh, aspect of this object is that its uh, trajectory is lying in the plane of the planets, and it's coming uh, pretty close to three planets, uh, Mars, uh, Venus, and, and Jupiter, and uh, that suggests that maybe it has some purpose. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that the object itself would deviate from its path. It could also release uh, some uh, smaller objects that would uh, use this maneuver uh, close to the sun, and we just need to monitor and see if there is uh, some unusual activity either around the object or coming towards planets. You know, there are orbiters around Mars that we are monitoring the sky around the, the Earth with uh, three observatories of the Galileo project, and I asked my research team to check for any unusual activity. Uh, gladly, um, Yesterday, we had the, an announcement by the International Asteroid Warning uh, Network that will uh, uh, establish a campaign uh, coordinating observations from all around the globe in trying to get as much data as possible about the motion of this object, because as it gets close to the sun, actually a week from now, uh, on uh, October 29th, uh, it will be at a distance of 203 uh, million kilometers from the sun. That is the best point to have a maneuver, uh, to uh, use an engine that would either uh, give a thrust object in the direction of its motion, in which case it will gain kinetic energy, or do the reverse, in which case the object would break and perhaps even release some mini probes towards the planets if it's technological. So we would like to know as much as possible about its future path, about its the nature of material coming out of it. Uh, it's you know, the beauty of doing science. Every time we've looked at it, we have found something new, something that doesn't quite fit the rule book. Isn't it fascinating that every interstellar comet we've discovered has defied what scientists expected? What do you guys think? Comment below to let me know. If you like our content, consider becoming a channel member. It helps us keep the coffee flowing while we make more videos. And don't forget to subscribe to Territory, because this is your space.